Hello everyone and welcome back to Rosso Peak. Thanks for joining me again as we build this city up from nothing. Today we're going to be looking more at the Industries DLC as we build a new residential area that's going to house thousands of people to work in the industries that we're going to be building up over the rest of the video. We're also going to be looking at putting in the downtown area of the city and we're going to build that around the stock exchange from the financial districts DLC. The reason I'm going to put this in now and start building it up is that I'm not going to actually upgrade the stock exchange. I'm just going to use it for the insider trading that you can do with it. And what I mean by that is when you have the stock exchange, you can invest in the forestry, agriculture, ore and uh, oil industries and then as you if you do that before you build and expand those areas you can turn a nice bit of profit that then helps you in reinvest expand and you can basically grow these industrial areas from the industries DLC very quickly as well as building a huge treasury so that's the idea for this video because once we get to that stage of having the industries laid out the unique factories for the industries laid out and the stock exchange investments we should have basically enough money to do whatever it is we want to do however we want to do it we're no longer kind of bound by the the in-game economy in a sense so with that in mind let's get to it so we've got some massive demand for residential at the moment and that's only going to grow as we expand all of the different industry industrial areas and start building out the ore area the oil area sorry i'm not quite sure where i'm going to put the oil area just yet i am thinking these areas around here, ah, maybe this area around here. So then we can have the residential, the downtown area here, and all of the industries served on the outside. Um, but then looking at this map, there might be areas later on where we redevelop these industry areas in. So for now, we're gonna focus on this kind of core area around here. We've got the ore up here, forestry here, we have agriculture here, and then we're gonna use the oil here. So this area is gonna be great for the next residential district, and I think we'll get a new area here, and this is where we'll start putting in the downtown, so that can then feed into this oil area as well. So let's look here, let's see what the topography is saying. Mm. So we do have this, I might actually just flatten this, and kind of have like a really flattened massive in uh, residential zone the core of the city and then have some nicer communities up here later on in the hills so let me flatten this out So I basically, I think I kind of just rebuilt the area, flattened out there. But that's because I do want a nice kind of curve on this area around here. There's still some terrain change, but that's fine. Because I think what I'm going to actually do is use this main, what's meant to be an arterial road. I'm not quite sure how that, well that's working at the moment. But we're going to use this main arterial road, bring it out, bend it around here, and take it into, actually no, I'm going to round about it around here and then put a new entrance up into, if that's the ore area here, then having an interchange here that brings traffic down into the main area of going all the way around is gonna make a lot more sense. Um, so this is gonna need to have a lot of work done. I've almost started to lose people. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna build out first, add some area to north of Hamilton and then look at building in a new district here before then moving down to the new downtown area here. So let me lay that out.
Hey builders, thanks for joining me on this build. I'm not great at this, and if you have any suggestions, tell me in the comments. If you add name something with the name, I'll rename something in the city in your honor. While you're doing that, if you want to hit the subscribe button and get me a step closer to quitting my day job, well, that would just be awesome. Go ahead, I'll wait. I'm just kidding, let's get back to it. Well, hey, look at that. We got Big Town. That's 6,500 population. We've got a new area to unlock, campus areas, taxation policies, residential wall-to-wall -wall buildings. So now that's going to be coming in a really big handy when we start doing the high-density residential zone. So we can really start putting in that downtown area now and maybe looking at some transport. So I'm going to quickly finish off building this interchange. Um, no way, that's actually complete. So. Um, Let's just recap on what's been done. And there we have the new interchange, a lot further up the highway. So it's gonna take a lot of traffic that would have come all the way down and around. It's now gonna come straight out, particularly for Core Ore and McNally Timber. They've now got two options to get on the highway. There, I think Timber will probably still take the normal route. Core Ore may rethink, but also means when we start building in the expansion of Hamilton around here and the new district here, we're gonna have a nice, easy flow of traffic that's not gonna all be backing up around this narrower area here. Having scattered this area between Hamilton and our new interchange, I'm actually liking what this hill has turned into. It's got a nice slope that leads up towards the mountain sides. So I'm thinking about kind of putting in a, the district along these contour lines so it kind of steps up towards the back of the interchange um, it'll also allow me to build out some more commercial and maybe some other services in this flatter region here where I have to do no landscaping for it um, so I'm gonna play around with some road ideas see what I come up with um, and then you can let me know in the comments whether it's a good or bad idea so let's see what we come up with
and there we have what I chose. I feel like a single road, I'm actually going to call this Hillview Drive. A single main road in and out of Hillview Drive that goes straight up. Not as smooth as I would like, but I mean, very San Francisco kind of vibes. It's got the bike lanes in there as well. And then following the contours of the topography, um, we've built some roads and I'm actually gonna zone it slowly because I just wanna see like here how the actual cliff edges end up being so then I can zone the next line to make it look a bit better. Um, Cause otherwise, you know, you'll get a lot of the tears. So I'm gonna let this build up a little bit. I'm gonna add in some commercial zones, probably just down here or along the middle. I probably along the mid no. I keep them off these because if I put a commercial on these facing onto Hillview Drive, it's gonna really make the roads look janky and strange. So what I might do actually is just one away, put in a few little commercial zones and see what we get. You notice I also dropped in some parks, so I used these parks, which I think are from the the Hotels DLC, or maybe? Hotels and Retreats, yep. So they're 500 cells to put in, they're eight cells a week, they're really tiny, and they're a really easy and cheap way just to build up the environment um, and make the citizens happy with something extra they can go and do um, in their downtime. So. I'm just going to quickly speed this up again whilst we try and put in, well, whilst I put in more housing um, and fill this area up. So bear with me. While Hillview is developing and all the residential houses are being built, I'm going to look at expanding into downtown because <laughs> we have a lot of money. We have over 256,000 cells in the bank. And that is frankly because of the industrial areas that we've got. I mean, even these little ones here, if we have a look, 561 profit over here, 6,305 here. 4,360 here. Now, of course, these amounts do go up and down depending on export, transport, traffic, and all of those kind of things. But as a baseline, they bring in a lot of money, enough money that we can actually look at expanding and starting a downtown area, even though we're not gonna fully invest in that area because we don't want the all the people living in one single area and then kind of going out to the different regions from there on that small scale. In the wider residential area, yes, but not all from downtown. So I've already kind of scouted the area and luckily I placed the road here perfectly for the middle of this square. So I'm gonna buy this square now. There's air links, not much else. There's some oil there as well and that's what we're gonna to look to expand into later on. So that's beautiful. There's some agriculture and there's some forestry but we're not really gonna pay attention to that. 96% area suitable for building. It's a huge square, a lot of flat land. Um, I think it is flat actually, it is right. Look at that, perfectly flat land. Some interesting detail here where this is going to be the oil area later on. And this hill, I have an idea for this this hill in this little region here. I'm not going to say it just yet because maybe I changed my mind, but I do love all the little hills on this map and I feel like that could be turned into something quite nice to look at over the whole town. So we have the square. Um, I'm going to expand. This is going to be a main arterial road. So I'm just going to bring it all the way out. I probably won't use this whole section, but I just want to bring it all the way out so that I've got that idea in my head. We've got some, oh, these hills are mine, that's fine. So that's going to be more of the agriculture area, I think potentially later on. So we're going to want some housing and stuff to feed into that first, which means kind of this core bit is actually going to be a nice little section 
walked a lot further down here. That's just my alarm going off. Um, I'm gonna put it smack dab here in the middle of the square, just off the main road. We're gonna use again my bike roads because I'm all about using cycling at the moment to help reduce some of the traffic in the long term. Bring it out by eight, bring it out by 20, back down by eight. And then I hope I've actually put a five minute I do here. So the stock exchange, this is from the financial districts DLC. Um, it's not even in the middle, it's gonna cost me money to move now, isn't it? Yep. Well, no, I'm not liking the positioning. It needs to be centered, right? So let's say three, three, you need three. So I need to remove the road here, here. And I want three. One. That's gonna be. Okay, so one, two, three, here. And then, awesome. Okay, and then let me just, because this is gonna be a little fun. Oh, no, see, don't always follow the guidelines. So, a stock exchange, financial districts DLC. It has multiple problems, we'll fix those in a minute. But what I wanted to show you is the manage investments, right? So if we manage investments, it brings up the economy page with the investments open and you see we have things like farming, forestry, gasoline, or traffic, and some things that are still locked, but it tells you how you can unlock them. Have at least three healthcare buildings in the city. I've already got two, put in a third, or you can invest in healthcare. Um, farming, so you see, the current value of the shares the recent change and you get a little chart here on the right that shows you what it's looked like over the last couple of days weeks months now the way it works is you go click on buy and then you can purchase shares based on how much you can afford then the idea is you wait for the share price to go up you sell the shares you make a profit basic investing but because we also own the stock exchange and the industries that will be deciding whether they're going to invest we're going to kind of game the system and what we can do is we can buy some shares in an industry that we know we're going to expand and when we expand it the share price will jump up and then we can use the increased share price to make some more money so i've decided we're going to expand out mcnally timber it was our original industry in rosso peak it's already level three it's produced 9,000 resources. It's already ready to level up. It just needs a, what's that, 16 more workers, um, and it will level up again. That's easily achievable. Um, we're producing a lot of raw forest products. 10 tons each is going to plant timber and paper. So I'm thinking we're gonna build some more paper, some more timber plants, as well as building the unique building, the unique factory, the furniture factory, which uses both paper and timber to produce furniture, which is, gives us an even bigger profit on top of what we're gonna get from what we expand in the region. But the first thing I'm gonna do is head over to the stock exchange, this weird building out here on its own. It looks very, very wild west. Um, manage investments and forestry. And it's, it's been up and down a fair bit. It's gone down. Um, I'm just gonna quickly pause and 250,000, I'm gonna need money for the investment. I say I need about 100,000 for the investment. So I'll bring the investment here. I'll bring the investment in stock down to, I'll do 120, 124, near 125. 165 shares, 754 sells a share. We're gonna buy. Now, here's how we do it and make the money. We keep the game paused. We come back over to forestry and we're gonna add some extra bits. So now I know the furniture factory, I was gonna place here, but this bit of land looks nice as well. And it will also let me keep some more area for the extra timber and paper plants I'm gonna need. So what's the biggest of these I've got at the moment? I've got the sawmill producing timber, the biomass pellet plant producing paper, and those are the two, the ones I've got, okay. So biomass 
can go over here that's not going to fit on that road so let me see about just expanding some of this road network a little bit i'm actually going to link these two together now i think um just to help with some through traffic and not kind of plug everything into this bend um now is that going to fit in hopefully no so i will build a another that needs to come this way because this is where i want to build the furniture factory right out across here which means i could put probably a sawmill just north of it yep put the furniture factory on this spur and then we're going to need a warehouse for the products it produces so i want to put just across the road nice and close minimal transport balanced mode and then unique factory products so now all of the furniture created here will go into this storage and then be exported or used in the city you can't import unique factory products you can only make them in your city so i've only put a small warehouse yard here because we've only got this one factory and of course it's going to take timber and paper we have our paper factories up here. I've just put a new one in. And then we have our timber factories here in the sawmill. So I'm gonna put in a few more, I'll put in two more sawmills and then one more biomass pellet plant. And that should put us in a position This will give us enough jobs yep i mean one of them would but all of these in total will give us enough workplaces to increase the level as well as producing more profit and more export um so i'm going to crank it up to 150 straight away just to get that going and then i'm going to hit play and we're going to see it all come together and i'm guessing that very quickly we'll get a level up so let's see how this goes First thing is you get the icons to tell us that there's not enough raw materials. Fully expected that. You'll start seeing trucks moving around. Boom. <laughs> McNally Timber has now reached level four. We've got an area bonus. Efficiency is 12% up. Pollution is 30% down. And we've unlocked the engineered wood plant, the soft paper factory, larger storage, and we've got a forestry maintenance building, which helps us, I think, increase the, reduce like, the costs. Let's have a quick look, just see. Um, so this is the extra storage we've got we've got the engine wood plant which produces a higher quantity of timber and where's that there we go we have the forestry maintenance building which helps us storage capacity by five percent in our auxiliary buildings need to be placed in industrial areas so yeah we get an increase in five percent in storage capacity and we've leveled up nice and easy so oh I got carried away there because now that bit's done, we're gonna come back over here to the stock exchange to manage investments and look at that. Look at that jump. Now, I do believe we have the double spike. We're gonna pit play and we're gonna see if we do get the double spike. So there we go, we had the first spike, it drops down. It should now jump up again, and hopefully it will jump up higher than it was just at the last peak. Oh, no. I'm going to hold out that this one will be it. If not, I'll have to reevaluate this. Boom. Okay. I'm going to hit pause because this is where I've become a cautious investor. For me, at this point, we've got a 23,000 sell gain on our investment. We put in 124, we'll get out 147. That's an easy 23,000 in profit we made for doing nothing. I'm gonna sell, I'm that kind of person, I'm a cautious investor, 23,000 is a lot of money. That's a new school or a police station, fire station, the city can use that money. So I'm gonna sell, but I do believe that we may see it go even higher. So I'm gonna, it was eight, nine, six, I'm gonna hit play. Let's see what it comes up to after the next day. Are we going to be 896? 873. So it dropped down a bit. Now I'm going to let it keep playing as I talk because 
this is what I mean by the double spike. If you do this method of in buying stocks, then investing in your industry areas, you will generally get the double spike. The second spike is normally a little bit higher than the first spike. It doesn't always happen so, so clearly as this has happened. Um, it can be even higher, it can be lower, but you do always get the double spike. And the thing is, as you expand your industry areas, as there is more value in them, the basic share price will also increase. You will have more money so you can invest more money and that will allow you to make even bigger returns and bigger profit on future investments. Um, and with that, I think I'm gonna leave it. We've made a hell of a lot of money. Um, we've expanded with a new residential area in Hillview Drive. We've got the expanded industry area at Green Alley Timber and we've got the basic outline of a downtown. There are some issues in the community. I'm looking back there and I can see there is crime. There is leveling up as well, so that's good. There is water needs. Um, these are all things, and there's a fire, okay. So um, I'm gonna go and address some of these. I will save them for the next video. Thanks for joining me, builders. Have a great day.